are atoms of the same element, the same atomic number but different mass number. Determine the element Q has three isotopes, 28, 29, and 30. Percentage abundance is as stated 92.2, 4.7, and 3.1. Determine the relative atomic mass of the element. So just take 28 multiplied by 92.2 over 100. The second one, the same, 29 times 4.7 over 100, and the third one. And then you find the uh, average. So you just add those ones, and then you'll find it is 28.109. So this shows that it is closer to the most abundant isotope. Number two, an oxide of element G has the formula of G2O3. State the valency of element G. That must be three because they have already exchanged the valencies. In which group of the periodic table? Group three. An element has a mass number of 23 and also 12 neutrons. Determine the atomic number and write the electron arrangement of element A. So if the mass number is 23 and it has new those neutrons, to find the number of neutrons, you take mass number minus the proton number, so you get 11. Uh, use the information in that table to answer the question that follow. You've been given uh, atomic numbers of elements, their mass numbers. So which two letters represent the same element? You will look at the atomic number. The ones that are same, it's P and S. State the name given to element P and S. Uh, that is boron. Uh, those are isotopes of boron. Give the number of protons of neutrons in an atom of element R. Uh, the grid below represents a part of the periodic table. The letters do not represent the actual symbols of element. You're supposed to study it and answer the questions that follow. Explain why element R appears in two different groups in the grid. This element R appears in two different groups because it has one electron in its outermost energy level, meaning that it gain one or it can lose one electron to become stable. State the name of the chemical family to which P and Q belong. P and Q, they are in the second group of the periodic table, so they are alkaline earth metals. Write the formula of the compound between P and V. P is variance 2, V is variance 1, so it will be PV2. Compare the melting point of P and Q. P and Q. P is small in size, so it has higher melting point than Q, which is larger in size, and therefore the forces of attraction are weaker. So, state the group to which R, M, and N belong. R, M, and N, they are in group 1, and therefore they are alkali metals. So here you have uh, oxygen is obtained in large scale through fractional distillation as shown below. Uh, identify the substance that is removed at first stage of course it's dust particles. Explain why uh, carbon dioxide and water, okay. Identify the components that is corrected at negative 186 that is argon. In an experiment, a piece of magnesium ribbon was cleaned with steel wool. 2.4 grams of the clean magnesium ribbon was pressed in a crucible and completely burnt in oxygen. After cooling, the product weighed about 4.0 grams. Of course, it has increased in weight. Uh, explain why it is necessary to clean magnesium ribbon. Of course, it is to remove the oxide layer. What observation was made in the crucible after burning magnesium ribbon? So a white solid, which is magnesium oxide, was observed. Why was there increase in mass? Because magnesium reacted with oxygen to form magnesium oxide. Write a balanced chemical equation, that is what happens. Magnesium plus oxygen to give magnesium oxide. The product in the crucible was shaken with water and filtered. Explain the observation made when red and blue litmus was dropped into the filtrate. Blue litmus paper remained blue, while red litmus paper turned blue because the the solution is basically alkaline that is why it changes red retimus blue 
write balance equation for the following reaction sodium and hydrochloric acid of course it will give you sodium chloride plus hydrogen gas sodium carbonate plus sulfuric acid it will give you sodium sulfate water and carbon 4 oxide the setup below was used to investigate properties of hydrogen on the diagram indicate what should be done of course you should heat so that the reaction takes place hydrogen gas is allowed to pass through the tube for some time before it is read explain that is to ensure that the air is driven off the gas uh, is driven off of the tube to prevent reoxid uh, to prevent explosion because reaction of hydrogen with other gases is explosive uh, then you're supposed to write chemical equation for the reaction that occurs in the combustion tube we have hydrogen gas reacting with copper to give copper solid and water hydrogen gas here is a reducing agent so it reduces oxygen from copper to oxide when the reaction is complete hydrogen gas is passed through the apparatus until it cools down this is to avoid reoxidation of hot metal by oxygen so what property of hydrogen is being investigated? The reducing property of hydrogen gas. So here hydrogen is used as a reducing agent. Why is zinc oxide not used to investigate this property of hydrogen? Because hydrogen cannot be able to reduce zinc. Zinc is higher than hydrogen. What is an atom? It is the smallest particle of an element that take part in a chemical reaction.